Hey, our friends, they're going to be drawing a Moai statue today. Yeah, we hope you get to follow along with us. These are the really cool statues that are on Easter Island. Yeah. Just off the coast of Chile. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're going to use markers. Some paper and something to color with. Yeah. All right, let's start. Yeah. <laughs> the first one we're going to draw is big because it's closest to us. And we're also going to draw it slightly tipped, and we're going to draw the ones that are buried a little under the ground. So we're going to draw the just the heads. We're going to draw a diagonal line over here on the left side of our paper. We'll start up towards the top, and we're going to draw it coming down like that. Yeah. And then we can come over here, and we're going to draw the other side, and we're going to draw another diagonal line that matches. Whoop. Got to hold my paper. We're going to draw another diagonal line that matches the same length. Then we can draw a curve to connect the top and also a curve to connect the bottom. And if we ever go too fast or if we fast forward the video or just if you need extra time, you can always pause the video. Yeah. All right. Now let's draw the face on our statue. We're going to draw another curve for the top of the eyes or the forehead. Then we're going to draw a big nose. We're going to draw an upside down U. We're going to come up, around, and then we're going to come back down. Then we're going to draw the nostrils. We're going to draw a curve on the left and also on the right. Now we can also draw a line connecting those two together. Let's also draw the mouth. We're going to come just below the nose and we're going to draw a curve coming across. Oh, let's come back up here and also draw the bottom of the eyes. Now this is really just the shadow, uh, a really strong shadow on the bottom. And it's going to look super 3D when we're coloring because we're going to add shadows to our statue. Cool. We're going to draw the side of the statue. We're going to draw a curve that comes down and connects kind of at the where the mouth is. We're going to do the same thing on the side. Come down and then connect back in. All right, now let's also add the shoulders. We'll start here. We're going to draw a curve that comes out of the chin and down. And we'll do the same over here. Now this one's going to be a little shorter. These ones were buried on the side of a hill. And we're going to connect the bottom. All right, we did it. We finished our first statue. We're going to repeat those same steps, but we're going to draw it smaller because it's further away. And this one we're going to draw straight up and down. So let's first draw the two sides of the head that match on each side. I'm going to come down even further so that the statue face is longer. Now we can connect the top just like we did on the right side with a curve. For this one, you know, and then the same down here at the bottom. Curve the chin, too. Do you remember what the next step was? The forehead. Yeah, the forehead line. We'll draw another curve that matches the top. And then let's draw the nose. We'll draw an upside down U. And then we can draw the nostrils. We'll draw a curve on each side. And then we'll connect the bottom. Let's also, while we're here, let's draw the bottom of the eyes. We'll draw curves that connect into the nose. All right, let's also draw the mouth. We'll draw a line coming across. What do we need to draw next? The ears. Yeah, or, or I'm the... not sure it's the ears. It could be. I think it's just yeah. maybe the side of the statue will come down with the side. It does kind of look like the ears, though, huh? Really. Well, it's in the spot where the ears would be. Yeah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're going to leave it just like this. This one's buried more into the ground, so we're going to leave the shoulders off. Now let's draw a diagonal bumpy line. This is for the background. This is the mountain that's behind them. We're going to draw it curving in and connecting to this one. Then we're going to imagine it coming out the side over here. Let's draw another bumpy line right above that one. This one's a little higher, and then we'll come down and connect. And over here, we can kind of come down and make it closer together. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our Moai statues. 
I think that's how you pronounce the, the name. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope that is. <laughs> we still have one more step. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our drawings. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same color. We're using biannual markers to color our drawings and to color our statues, we first colored them solid with WG05. If you happen to have the same colors, this is a warm gray. Now we're gonna also use a warm dark gray, WG09, to add the shadows to make it look more 3D. Yeah. So let's first start by coloring in the eyes. This is almost gonna look black, probably, especially on camera, which is cool because uh, these statues look awesome when the sun is out and casting these really long shadows they look really cool so now i'm going to color also in the side of the statue over here and we'll color this in i'm going to go all the way down the chin and then we're going to color in look at that that already looks 3d yeah it does now we're going to color in the bottom of the nose so i'm going to curve up and fill in the shadow underneath the nose. Then we're gonna make this look like a really long shadow coming down the side of the face. So we're gonna curve it down, and because we're curving it down, it makes the statue look more 3D. Then yeah. Then we're gonna also color underneath the lip. So we're gonna draw a line underneath the lip, and then right at the end, we're gonna curve down. I'm gonna make this look thicker and curve even further down. Like that. That looks awesome. I'm gonna color this a little bit more curved. And we could also thicken the line going across the mouth. Let's also add a shadow on the chest or the shoulders. We'll start over here underneath the chin and we'll draw that same curve See how all of the shadows are going in the same direction. So we'll have this shadow going across and then we'll fill in the rest of the shadow under the chin. Oh, <laughs> good job, Jack. I'm Thank gonna you. also add maybe a little thicker shadow along the side of the nose. Now, also when we were fast forwarding, we drew a small little statue on the back. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> That one looks like it's really far away. Yeah, it does. Now we're gonna repeat those same steps for the shadow on each of the other statues. You ready to fast forward again? Yeah. We did it, we finished coloring our Easter Island statues. They look really cool, all colored in. That was a lot of coloring, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. I hope our art friends are gonna take time to color their drawings also. And I love that we colored the entire paper. I especially like the shadow behind the statue. Yeah, me too. That makes it look even more 3D. Now you guys could use whatever you have at home. We used our markers and we used a dark green to create that shadow. We also used our colored pencils. We started with white, but that made the highlight look uh, too shiny. They're not that shiny. So we used a light gray for the highlight to make them look more round. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your statues. Yeah, and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye! Hey parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.